Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of High Vibing Church History. My name is Josh Grover and it is great to have you here today with me. In this very first episode, we're going to go over two foundational questions. The first is, what is church history? What's its definition? Second, why should we study church history? Concerning the definition, what is church history, I want to define church history as the study of the Christian religion. It's going to be the study of the people, places, ideas, societies, heavily influenced by the teachings of Christ. I want to give kind of a vague, more ambiguous definition for uh, church history because it'll allow us to go in and out of different denominations, different people, different societies, their ideas when it comes to interpreting the teachings of Christ. In essence, this definition will give us some flexibility of whom we can study and why. The second question is, why should we study church history? Why should you? Why should I? In other words, why should I care about church history? How does it apply to my life? And I think that's a very fair question. If you've taken a lot of history classes before, which we most did in elementary, junior high, high school, college level, etc., sometimes you can think that church history or just history in general is boring. But I don't want us to think that way when it comes to this YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, I want us to be excited. I want us to see church history as an adventure, the trip of a lifetime, as we study different people, different places, different societies, I mean, ranging from the early 100 AD, even before that, up to this present day. We're going to look at different places in Asia, in Africa, in Europe, in South America, in North America. Church history is an adventure. It's a grand adventure. And I want us to see it that way. So with that being said, what are some reasons why we should study for church history? First, I believe we should study church history because it allows us to trace our steps. Church history acts as kind of a rear view mirror that allows you and I to say, why does my local church group, why does my local Christian group live out Christianity the way they do? Why, why do we do this? Why don't we do that? And other questions like, why do other church groups? Why do other denominations do things differently than we do? Church history really helps answer those questions. They help answer, why do you and I do what we do? Second reason is, church history allows us to find inspiration from the Christians of the past. If you're a Christian, you're going to run into difficulties and trials because of your faith. But that is nothing new, and thankfully, we can go back and have conversations, so to speak, with Christians of the past and find inspiration, encouragement, and guidance from them to see how they handled the tough situations that were thrown their way. A third reason is church history allows us to detect error and, and falsehood. Church history acts as a metal detector. It allows us to get underneath the surface of ideas and trends and movements that are even going on to this day. Church history allows us to answer questions that have been addressed for thousands of years, such as who is Jesus Christ and why does it matter? Who is the Trinity? And what's the point? What is the Bible? Uh, is the Bible authoritative even for me? How does it apply to my life? We don't have to reinvent the wheel with those questions because church history has really helped address a lot of that and very sufficiently. A fourth reason, and a very important reason, is it allows us to see God's, God's grace and mercy throughout the ages. Jesus said that he would be with his followers to the end of this age. Is that true? How do we know that's true? Where can we see proof of that? We find it in church history. So again, this is why church history is such a grand adventure that I cannot wait to take with you step by step. But before you go, I kindly ask that you will like, subscribe, and please leave your comments below. I really want to see and hear your thoughts and your ideas about church history because we're taking this trip, this adventure together. Thank you again for joining me in this very first episode. Can't wait to see you next week. And thanks again for high-fiving church history.